Well, all week we've highlighted each of the amendments that you will see on the ballot next month. In November, you'll vote not just for your elected officials, but also on 12 different amendments. Tonight, News 13's Alex Thorson tells us more about Amendment 12, the lobbying amendment. The first part of Amendment 12 expands lobbying restrictions for elected officials. Former state senator, now Constitution Revision Commissioner Don Gates is sponsoring the amendment. Legislatures and city councils and county commissions uh, are made up of ordinary human beings and they're unlikely to raise the standard of ethics themselves. Known as the lobbying or ethics amendment, it forbids any elected official from paid lobbying while in office and for six years after they're out of office. Right now we have people who are in public office who audition for their jobs as lobbyists during their last year in public office. The second part of the amendment prohibits the use of office for personal benefit. TaxWatch is a nonprofit taxpayer research institute in Tallahassee. They don't support the amendment. We already have a prohibition in place. Currently, it's two years until you can become a lobbyist, and this would expand to six years, which would be one of the most restrictive in the nation. I think the biggest problem I have with it is I, I'm, I think it's embarrassing that we as a state would have to have a provision in our Constitution that says public officials can't use their elected office for the personal. Gain. If it passes, the restrictions won't take effect until December of 2022. In Bay County, Alex Thorson, News 13.